All right, so I got an FTM 400 here, and I'm about to do the DSP firmware, connect the cables, you know, the data cables, just power it on. My display says DSP arrows with com. Here is the uh, verification that I want to update from 4.15 to 4.31. I'm going to click OK. And the DSP firmware is getting uploaded to the radio. You can see COM6 right here. That's what I'm using. So we'll wait to uh, see how the update screen goes. I'm on page 9 of the, uh, the instructions for the DSP for the USA version. It is the second radio I'm trying to update. The first radio, this worked fine, but I'm getting an error when I try to do the main version. So I'm trying my second FTM 400 now. Doing a DSP first, that's what uh, was always preached, to do the DSP version first. So we'll wait for this to finish, and then we'll try to do the main Okay, firmware update complete. I'll hit OK. Turn the transceiver's power off. Power is off. Disconnect the data cable from the back. Data cable disconnected. Connect the external power or battery to the transceiver. That's connected. Okay. I'll exit this. So we're done with this and I'll just turn the radio on real quick and I'm gonna hit display I'm gonna hit transmit receive digital and I'm gonna scroll down to option number five and I'm getting DSP version 4.31 okay so I'm exiting out of there, shutting the radio off, disconnecting the power to the radio. Now let's try the main firmware. <clears throat> so let me open up the instructions and let me open up the main firmware USA. Double click that. Let's move that to here and let me just do a scan for hardware changes <clears throat> okay so everything's disconnected now so now I got no COM6 uh, so let's see here are the instructions so the first thing it says to do is to run the program which I have run and it's open here uh, well, I really can't set this but I know it's going to be COM6 once it does come up here's COM6 all right uh, press the update button to this to display this screen uh, all right, I'm going to wait to do that. Uh, disconnect the power cable. That's disconnected already. Take the update switch and push it to the update position. So I'm going to take my switch that you're not going to see here. But I'm going to take that switch and I'm going to move it towards the back of the radio, which is the update position. And let me just turn my little flashlight on. And the switch is, nope, not moved yet. Let's see.
Okay, the switch is in the update position. So that's done. Let's scroll down. Connect the data cable to the back of the FTM 400. And then connect the cable to the computer. And uh, so here's COM6, which I have set up over here. So let me just hit the update button here. Uh, next page of the instructions. Let's say to connect the power cable, do not attempt to turn on the radio. So I'm going to take my power cable, I'm going to connect it to power, and the radio is not on, and now I should just hit the OK on this screen. I'm going to hit the OK, and the update is working. Huh. Okay, so why is it not working on my first one? All right, I just wanted to make sure everything is working here, so I'll go back to the second radio uh, to see what's going on with that. All right, so the firmware update completed. I'm going to hit OK here. It's saying to disconnect the power cable from the main body. Done. Disconnect the data cable. Done. Switch the programming switch back to the normal position. Let me do that. That is done. Put the little plug back on top of the radio. That is done. Connect the power cable. On. Perform a factory reset. Let me go over here to the firmware updates complete. That's pushed back. We're connected. Uh, we're going to hit display. And then we're going to hit reset clone. And my main says 4.4. .4, and my panel is saying 1.3, but there was no update for that. So now I'm going to go down to a factory reset. Factory reset, OK. Radio is resetting. It says completed. Wants, wants me to enter a call sign. That's done. Radio is turning back on. Going to hold my display in. I'm going to go to SD card. Going to go to backup. Read from SD card. All. OK.
and completed. Radio's rebooting, there's my call sign, and we're all good. Okay, thanks a lot. KB2MXV.